And that's why CJ's such a good lad. Welcome back to the Rocket League OC Championship. My name is Asterix, joined by Courier Lord, and I'm also joined by Jake Edwards at the end there. I'm going to I'm gonna find a new name for you by the end of the season, I promise. Did you already come up with Jake Jake? Yeah, but that's kind of just like two in one. Anyway, we're moving forward to what I consider to be a bit of a grudge match, considering these two teams are not where they wanted to finish. It's Ground Zero taking on Legacy, and after what we just saw, Legacy need to bring their A game. So Legacy are out. Legacy. Oh, good start, Jake. Yeah, Leg no. Legacy. I mean, technically true. Le yeah. Legacy is sad. So if Ground Zero win 3-1 or better, they're guaranteed 6. Mm. Otherwise, they will come 7th. So this is purely a match for 6th and 7th. So it is close. It is a grudge match. They're going to still want to be performing the best they can and finish the season as strong as they can despite yep. the devastating loss. Especially what happened after with Order just then. Yeah, the right. thing for me with Legacy, this is a really interesting test, right? Because two seasons ago, Legacy came sixth without yep. Delusion. If they do yep. worse than that with Days, so that means the team did worse than with Delusion and the season before. Yeah, you we, get all we that? can... <laughs> <laughs> Confuse me. We can talk about the days pick up a lot. I don't think I don't think we can pin it all on days. Oh now. no! I don't think days not. didn't look particularly nervous. They just looked like sad as a team. They didn't look like they had any like no, way to score at all. I know where you're coming from. Goals, so I know where you're coming from. It's the same with Ground Zero though. For this season, Ground Zero were heightened to be yep. a better team. You know, the potential of top four. It was actually on a lot of our teams. We didn't really think any of them could fall to that eighth position. We're talking yeah. about Justice. We're talking mm. about SYF at the start as well. Potentially, we're going, yeah, they might fall down, but yeah, it's I, just I don't think I don't think any of us thought that SYF and Justice would be in the position they oh, are no. now. Yeah. Like, one of them guaranteed top four. It's crazy. Same like, with Legacy and Ground Zero. Yeah, we we, we thought this him. matchup would be this. the winner of this goes to playoffs. And yeah. now, now they're just playing for pride at this point in placements. Yeah, and the sad thing for me there is like too little too late for Ground Zero. Like they've oh, yeah. found that ghost pickup which they've been using. Which has been great. Yeah, they used yeah. it this week and like his he would have won the accolades for best scoring. <laughs> yeah, if had he had enough <laughs> games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not eligible. But like it's phenomenal. What's he on like one point eight seven or something? Yeah, I, I hope he can keep it up. He was really exciting to watch last week. He was so quick. He was so clinical. Never seen such a confident sub before. Yeah, they actually like fits in rather than the dude that sits at the back. He's like, yeah, you guys play. I'll try yeah, not yeah, to screw this up for you. Subs like, you, you just carry me. I'll just stay yeah. back. Ghost was like, you you boys need carrying. You've been terrible. Let's go. And yeah. then he brought it. Well, harsh truth. But for Ghost, I mean, it's good experience from him as well in the OC Championship. Jake, let's start with your prediction for this matchup. I'm actually going to go with Ground Zero. I think I think it's really hard to recover from that from Legacy. They, they really had a genuine really good chance to make it today. They've really been set back, and I think that's really hard to come back from. Ground Zero knew from the start that they were just playing for placements, so mm. I think their mentality will be a bit better, and that's really important. Oh, especially when your Legacy have like, famously had really pr big problems with their mentality. I'm also going to yep. go Ground Zero. I apologize to the graphics guy if that was a bit of a change. <laughs> oh, wow, well, I That's think on it me, was. not on you. If yeah, that is yeah. it's, on, it's on me as well. I feel like I might have changed that. <laughs> but th this week has been so crazy and so mentality driven <laughs> that you have to change your predictions seeing the day. I don't. Yeah. I, I can't remember what I put up. Let's just throw it up anyway. I think it was Legacy. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was I, I, I'm not a flip-flopper, even though I think in this situation I would like to, especially after what I saw in the last mm. series. Flip-flop is a good way. No, no I, I don't on. want to run our graphics guy through the buck. He's, he's done a good job <laughs> so far. Ledge. But uh, for, for me, uh, like I will stick to my guns because I think there is hope for Legacy, especially in this series. Well, there's, there's still a good team. Is, is Ghost enough? In, in this game, I think he was last week against Legacy this week. It might be a different question. We're going to jump into this series now. Our second last one of league play here at the OCE Championship. Legacy taking on Ground Zero. Yes, it is a matchup for Pride, but it's also for prize money and your reputation going forward into further championships. Man, Ghost just came out guns blazing. First touch is like him going, okay, all the way, straight into Legacy's half, asserting my dominance. I want to get the de facto winner of those accolades. Let's see if Ghost can pressure them even more for Legacy Esports. It's a bit of a struggle last game. We didn't see too much. That net was an opportunity to be opened up. It was Lim who takes the shot. As it goes wide, it'll be Ghost to recover. Now off the wall, he'll take it himself, but running out of boost means the play comes to a standstill and ground zero back to square one. Oh, and they're just pushing deep into Legacy's half. There's a small reprieve there for Legacy, but it doesn't last very long before they're back on the attack. Lim's got some good stats as well. I think Savior Metal right now is looking pretty good for Lim. Oh, he's pretty much got that on lockdown. Over two, I think he's like 2.17. We'll see if he can pad that a little bit more. Of course, you don't want to be here in this series. You want to be aiming for six. Prize pull really just... Doubles there in that sixth position. 
Well, Lim has been probably one of the best rookies of the season. His performance has been phenomenal and the most consistent player of Ground Zero, allowing them to get big wins, which weren't expected. For Lim, he'll dribble the ball out, kind of perceiving what Legacy are going to do there. Meets halfway through that Syrix. The stand still comes forward and a little bit more Daze. Won't get the defense sticky either. Some misses here and some strange plays from Legacy. Got to be careful because in front of net, Lim just gets one like that. And Daze only managing to just save it out. It's up to Ghost again. The dribble into the net will be stopped too. But Legacy Esports hard stuck on the defense. You can see that little bit of worried patience there. Daze didn't know whether or not to run out or a teammate was going to take it. When you're locked in your half, you have to have that balls. You've got to run forward with it. Well, Syrix stops the hard stuckness right here, right now. Legacy Esports trying to push forward. It'll be Lim again in the midfield. Ghost receives the ball. What can he do with it? Ground zero off the wing. They'll leave it for now. Recover back. Syrix, performance out of him. I've been questioning, you know. Yes, it is not just about days. We've got the whole team of Legacy here. Siki comes in with the strike. A great save away by Ghost. The push out by Walcott. It is an important point that you raise. It's not just we need to look at days. Siki has been a strong, consistent player, and we didn't see that performance coming from him last match. And for him to drop off as well as Syrix was a whole performance let down. The Legacy able to push through this time, but the ball's gone behind days. Recovery from Syrix. Lim comes in. The center's there, but it's too high for Ghost. He pops it up, and Walcott has to receive it, but this pass back is not good. Ghost has no boost whatsoever. Siki going to contest with Syrix behind him. The shot able, but a big punch away by Ghost will keep it okay for Legacy Esports. Able to hold on on that defense, but Siki getting demoed means Syrix has to hang back, and they're going to be strict here again. Walcott missing the shot. Yeah, Ground Zero did an interesting play there, allowing Ghost to come back and pick up the boost so he could get three consecutive shots for the setups, enabling them to build some good forward pressure despite the fact Legacy could break through. Good save by Lim there, sorry, not Lim. Used to saying Lim. Good save by Ghost there as Lim gets demoed. Two minutes left remaining, no goal just yet. A slower pace of game, but Ghost setting up the play. Walcott's here off the backboard. Ground Zero ready to dunk down, but the third player has already committed forward, and Ground Zero probably have to reset the shot directly on net, but Lim. Savior medal already. That's how well he's saved. You don't even know until he gets the medal. Double down on the cash. He's got to get the savior medal and he's going to win the game. He could have gone up in the midfield, give a bit more pressure, but nah. opted to come back early in play. Nah, you want those accolades. $1,000. That's is, true. It's worth more than the bonus. position, right? It's $500 per position, $1,000 for the accolades. I thought it was $1,000 for sixth for six place. Oh, yes. That's, no, I think it's $500 per jump. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, at the moment, ground zero, slim. Be feeling pretty good about that. Ghost this time will jump in front of the net. Legacy getting close again. Days an opportunity, but unfortunately can't get to the ball first. Lim face plants into this one, but as he does, he finds himself in the mechanic once again. He'll come back out shortly. One minute remaining. Ground zero. Looking pretty spicy here. Double demo across the field. Everyone getting angry, but Walker with that good demo, he will actually save the goal. I feel a bit bad for Legacy. They finally get all that angry energy up, move forward and start to pressure, and they get double demoed. Ground Zero says, no, that's not where you live, and they start pushing them back out of their house. It's like aggressive play seems to be the name of this series here, or at least the game. Game number one, Lim setting it up off that wall again, but no one really getting an opportunity to strike. Execution, a big part here. Daves will clear it across the field, but Lim's already there. The pass forward. Siki doesn't really have any boost to play with the ball. Lim will bring it to a standstill. The goal square under pressure, but Ground Zero can't do anything with it. They'll play off the backboard here or leave it to Lim. Another opportunity, the one, two, three. Good follow up there from Walcott. He was sitting in the midfield trying to facilitate his team, continuing those aggressive plays. Notices the opportunity to come forward and finish the maneuver, getting that goal. Siki was like, what the heck is going on here? And Ground Zero get behind him. And that first goal is going to be crucial here to setting the tone of the series. One goal, 27 seconds remaining. He needs to add an extra eye for that international superpower. He does, but you've got to add another couple of eyes for, I don't know, for vision, I guess. At the moment, legacy, you know, as you do career. Yep, seeing's important. Yeah, it absolutely is. I'm not sure where it's going with that. 10 seconds left remaining and legacy on the defense once again. They've got one last play in them, but it's going to rely on Syrix. He gets the ball through, goes, Dace is there. The touch is forward. Lim with the save once again, you bloody hero. And this ball will hit the ground, and ground zero start with one. Yeah, pretty confident in the defense there. They're very quick to send two guys back and deny Legacy that offense. And when Legacy's relying on big counterattacks to break through today, it's not going to work too well if ground zero aren't going to get too greedy. I think Lim is going to be happy with this, though. Four saves. Save your medal. Every single game goes towards his back pocket. $1,000 for being an Australian hero, a born legend. I mean, Lim, <laughs> he's a tall guy, by the way. I know, dudes. Yeah, I met him after another tournament. We sat down and had lunch, and then I was like, oh, hey, Lim. 
Great Ex performance today, buddy. Put it towards tailoring his suits. I mean, it's expensive to be a tall person. Yeah, shoe size after 12. You've got to get them custom made. Poor Tw guy. After 12? Yeah, 12, I think. So I'm US like a 12. size 9. Honestly, you know, I, have, I have baby feet. Now, Lim's got like, you know when you get sufficiently tall enough, there's like a 16% chance yeah. you play professional basketball? Yeah. He's probably in that he, way. He probably is. But Lim with four saves already, I think a great start and a great performance by Ground Zero. We're questioning Legacy a lot, but I want to walk away from that because for Ground Zero, their performance has come later in yeah. the season, especially with Ghost coming into the lineup. I think that was a great pickup. I mean, I loved CJM all through last season, but it's good to see Ghost has revitalized the team. They were struggling with that scoring potential. They look pretty confident on defense and in the midfield, but they really lacked a way to break through. Yep. And now when they put Ghost in, he's just so aggressive. Actually seeing passes now out of ground zero as well, which yeah. I think is important. With CJM, he has been a mechanical player. He's been a solo player. Mm. Not to, you know, diss on him at all. It's more about how he's played has been about himself. His micro, as some would call it. But let's jump into game two before I talk more. Ground zero up one already. And for Legacy Esports, the pressure compounding as Walcott has already started on the attack and Ground Zero have all pushed up. Yeah, we need to see the Daze effect come in. Daze has got one of those high variance gameplays. He can have 730 points, he can set records, and then he can have a lackluster game after. So if he can pop off, that single handedly can just win them the match. He really can. Legacy need a miracle right here. Set themselves apart. Seventh is not the finish that Legacy would like, especially after last season. That shot is towards the backboard. You can see Siki defended away narrowly, but Walcott's already brought it back in. Days gets it out of that corner. Not going to get that pinch into the back of the net. And Grounds are on the defense, looking a little bit sloppy here as it hits a crossbar, comes back down. Sirix with a shot, but Lim just wants to pad those stats even more. No boost, no worries. He just like sits there. It's like, okay, this is my territory. No girls coming through. No one to see here. I think Lim right now feeling pretty confident in the rest of Grand Zero. You can see they all push up. Legacy can't get that counter attack going. Walcott even comes in for the 50 50, challenges it away, and takes the ball back. Grand Zero in a good position again, but that pinch down. Ghost thinks he's in trouble, then suddenly he's not. And Legacy just can't catch a break. They really need to rely on goals like that. Stylistically, they go for those huge counter attacks. And if Ground Zero isn't too greedy and they haven't been pulling players back from that midfield position, Legacy may not score at all. Well, Legacy right now, if they're in the defense, they definitely won't. Ground Zero pushing it down towards that goal square again. Walcott now off the wall. Bouncing it down and come around the corner, but who's there? It's Ghost, the bounce back in. Lim comes forward for the shot. Siki goes slow, Walcott goes fast, and everyone in between is just waiting for the ball. Yeah, it's an awkward position. They keep getting pushed into the corner. You'll notice that despite the fact Ground Zero has held all the possession, they're struggling to get any shots. And that's because Legacy's done such a good job of pushing it away. But it feels like the same as game one. A nil all game until <laughs> one moment where Ground Zero or Legacy can break through. They they notice when the pressure drops, right? You're yep. seeing them pull back just as you mentioned. Like, okay, it's getting a bit too risky. Let's play it safe. Back we go. Get those sweet, sweet accolades and thousand dollars of dollar dues, and then go for the attack when it's safe. I was gonna say okay. Dave's gonna apply the pressure, but that is hotter than a red hot barbecue on a summer's day. Oh, I love my Aussie barbecue. As they push forward though, what a great read. They took his time. He reads it perfectly off the roof, and Lim patient waits for his teammate to pass it forward whilst Gates, Ghost gets taken out of the play. And it's Lim again, the person who wants to put himself on the scoreboard, put himself in front of our camera. In game number two, Lim again. Ground zero find that 1-0 start, 245. And Legacy Esports, although they're getting close, they need to score these goals. And Sirix wide again. Lim even bumps his teammate out and says it's my time to shot. Oh, I wouldn't blame him, though. If I saw Lim coming through, I'd be like, you know what, Lim, you can have the ball. Lim deserves the ball at this point. Two minutes 30 remaining. Ghost pushes forward. Ground Zero right now, putting a strong argument forward, even stronger than keeping tomato sauce out of the fridge here in Australia. Ground Zero in game two, setting up again. What a pass to Ghost. And just like tomato sauce, that was ever so sweet as he pulls it through another one, locking it down over Legacy. When they're struggling with offense and you're two up, you're in an incredibly safe position. It's Ghost again. This passing play never existed with CJM. Again, nothing against CJM, which I feel like I'm walking myself into. It's more about Ghost and how he's added to this team. The rookies, the younger players here, the next generation in the Rocket League OC Championship are making a, a really good case as to why people should pick them up. I'm liking how the breadth of the OCE region is starting to expand. Now we have the depth already, we have the team mines, we have those Chiefs, but now we're starting to have more teams filling out those 6th and 7th, 8th spots that are true contenders. Like Ground Zero here, Legacy Esports struggling. They're a team that has experienced. The young contenders are coming through and making a name. You've got Walcott, who's about three seasons old now. 
People like Legacy Esports have been around since time itself, and they're showing here. Dave's coming close, hits the crossbar. Up and down it goes, but no net. Yeah, Siki was all the way at midfield. Sirix rotating safely back. That was the time you need those follow-throughs, and you can't just sit. Oh, you can't even call yourself reactionary if you're not reacting and coming forward to the ball. You really can't. Walcott coming in. That's directly on net. Sirix matches the speed, but Ghost has come forward. Ground Zero keeping it down this half once again. There's always one big clear from Legacy, but responded quickly by Ground Zero. And with time a ticking, Legacy Esports, they got to start speeding things up themselves. Oh, Siki. What happened there? The old bouncer right over the head. All right, Courier, we'll watch this again, and then I want your full diagnosis. Oh, no. Sicky was a bit sick. That's, that's such a feels bad man moment. You're not, maybe not looking where you got ball cam on, and you're not looking where you're going. You go, whoopsie daisy, but it happened anyway. And Legacy Esports now down 3-0. They're in front of net. Lim gets a demo onto Sirix, but it might not matter. Siki finally getting one on the board. He's getting his revenge. It's good to see Siki back in the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, the dude normally averages over one goal per game. So the fact that we haven't seen much of him so far is a bit weird. I think it definitely is. Right now for Legacy, they needed that badly. Two goals remaining, 55 seconds remaining, and it is. It is very doable. But Legacy Esports, we've got to see more ingenuity in their play. Siki comes forward again. Sirix is his time. Not at the moment. I like to see Siki gun forward. Last season, he took about like four shots a game. Very, very aggressive. And it set up the plays for Legacy. They weren't as reactive as we've seen now. When he comes forward, he enables Sirix to have the confidence to come forward as well. And it kind of creates this domino effect that generates a Legacy offense. And without that, and without delusion, it's just not happening. I mean, speaking of that aggression, Legacy Esports in the past 30 seconds have just gone toe-to-toe -to -toe mm. with Ground Zero in the plays. The aggression being matched here at Ground Zero Maybe they're struggling a little bit with the speed, but two goals, and I think time has passed. The ball's going high. A save's there. A crucial touch again from Ghost. And like a sanger from Bunnings on that beautiful crisp day we were talking about, Korea. I think Ground Zero, they can taste it, they can smell it, and they know that this game two has been worth it. Uh, it's a nice little runaway, and it's a feels good as well. Legacy is not only Legacy in name, but they've been around for so long, and the Ground Zero roster, they're pretty young players. Despite the yeah. fact Walcott has been have, has played in the uh, league play before, he hasn't kind of got the pedigree that Siki, Sirix, and Daisy. You remember, I was foaming over Walcott back when he was in Conspiracy, because I'm going, this guy can save goals. Mm. And all you guys, were, you know, you're laughing at me, and that's fine, we got over that. I mean, you won in the end, because Conspiracy ended up doing significantly better they than we were fifth. expecting. They got fifth. Yep. They got meant to be seventh or eighth, and we're like, well, what happened? Anyway, Walcott in this situation, he can't get fifth with ground zero, but they can get sixth. They can mm -hmm. achieve what was, you know, ex expected of them, I guess. Yes, prize pool and, and limb, might come back with the accolades. I, Which I would be pretty sick. They should share it, honestly. That would be pretty cool. That'd I wonder if nice. they'd do that. I mean, like they a little handhold thing there. That why would you? Weird. I mean, why would you do it? When I think about it, why would you do it? A grand in your back pocket because you saved the day. It's not like anyone can reach Lim's back pocket anyway. No, it's, it's got to find it. I mean, some yeah. of these people are in Melbourne, some of them are in Perth. And if you don't live in Australia, you don't know where Perth is, it's like as far away as Singapore, except not, except a couple of hours different. Perth is so Perth far is away. So it's, far like, away. It's, like, it's multiple time zones away, and then it's like another country. I think it's easier to move across most of Europe than it is for us to get to Perth. Singapore was my equivalent. Yeah. It's probably not right, but I'm going to stick with Singapore. Just run with it. We're about to jump into game three, and at the moment, 2-0 start from ground zero. Legacy is struggling here. Mm. But Ground Zero, we talked about the rookie's limb. We got Walcott, who, no, he's not a rookie anymore. He's probably the most, ex he is the most experienced on, on the roster now that CJM's gone. But Ghost comes in and he makes such an impact here. And it's great to see that they could finish out their league play and their season on such a good note. Legacy, if they can deny it here, they'll take us to a game four and try and fight for that sixth place. I love the mentality, though. We just saw Legacy cheat forward, aggressively push, and we need to see these changes because their style hasn't been playing well. The adaption is critical, and if we don't see that change come through fast, they're out. I think for Legacy, now is enough. They have to set it up. Walcott, oh! The direction there was beautiful. Oh, your man has just read the perfect hole in that defense and off the back of Lim puts it away. I hope he's single because right now, he's making me want to part. I don't know, girl. You're ready to mingle? Yeah. <laughs> no! It's why you should be setting these up. That's perfect. 1-0 to ground zero. And yes, they are ready to mingle, ladies and gentlemen. After that single goal, they look like they're in control once more. Again for Ground Zero, this early lead. Will it turn into a game win? A 3-0 against Legacy. 
is better than order. Does that mean? Oh, they're caught. This is an open net. This is a freebie. Lim is completely out. No. Where did it? Where does it gone? Where did it come from? Cotton Eye Joe, Ground Zero. Their net was completely open. More like Kamado Joe, the beautiful barbecue day. I do not know what that is, career, but I assume it's some type of barbecue as Walcott finds a second. Oh, that is a feels bad moment. That was Legacy's opportunity to not only equalize, but it went the complete opposite way and they get scored upon instead. It's just for Legacy, it's so painful. Like you said, that open net, it goes wide. You're unable to find it at the angle off that side post. And then Walcott coming back with her, hey, how's it going? Is a real, real hit. And ground zero, two nil up all of a sudden, Legacy Esports not the end of the season they'd like and today has just been a disaster for them has legacy only scored one goal they've scored one goal here korea i believe so they want more they want more than zero in this game walcott in front yeah, of that good some quick demos there stop the pace once more Sirix running breakout i just realized with a really really nice skin Walcott debating his teammates, all flying around him as he hugs the wall. A limb, he'll find the end up save as Daze was coming through, dribbles it through the air, Ghost comes in, good communication here from Ground Zero. Legacy coming in off the wing. And a really interesting matchup, I didn't think Ground Zero would be this dominant here. Off the back of, yes, some Legacy mistakes, but also passing plays like this as Ghost comes in, commits for the touchdown. Again, wrong game, but Ground Zero still holding true to who they are. Daze, Setting up with the center itself, but this is a mistake. Siki has to get back. The momentum now pushed back into Ground Zero's favor. They're down the other side of the field, and Legacy have to be careful who they touch. Yeah, they're almost getting in the weirdest positions, right? They're so far back, they can't push forward and they can't react. And then we saw them push so far forward, but still somehow weren't in the play and almost got scored from a clear. Yeah. Remember, this is a team that were fighting Tainted Minds to go to RLCS. This is the team that finished fourth, I believe, right now in front of net. That same team can't find an opportunity. Getting run over here by ground zero. And it is a devastation ground right now. A disaster has happened. And ground zero know about it. Goes to Walcott, the pass forward. Still in a good position. That's a center that happened randomly, but well done as Lim comes through with the strike. Two minutes left remaining. Yeah, Legacy need to find their offense and find it quickly. I mean, you have Siki. He should be a strong offensive player to back you up. And Daze, we need to see that pop off, buddy. We need to see it go. Needs to happen now. Ghost comes in off the wall. Who's in net? It's just not happened. Happening is the past tense. It's like a Bermuda Triangle where you just kind of draw the three of them and everything just goes inside that and disappears. I'm just not sure what to make of this career. Ground Zero 3-0 up. Ghost is having a great day, though. Ghost is having... Lim's having a great day. I think Walcott has shown his colours at the start of the season. We said... I think it was Yummy Cheese Man. We always quote this guy. Um, Yummy Cheese Man was saying, we want to see more out of Walcott. We do. And, you know, a lot of misses from Walcott. I think in this game, we've seen accuracy be a big factor here for Ground Zero, although there have been some moments, arguably, where we still wait for Walcott. But moments like this, the setup, the passes... They're looking good from Ground Zero. Yeah, he lived in Bango's shadow for a while, so it's good to see him be able to come out of his own shell and be more of a cohesive player within the team. Especially in the wintertime, you don't want to be in the shadows. It's too cold. At the moment, Sirix right in front of net. This is off the backboard. Saved away, well, sort of by Walcott as he pops it up. Days will try and center it, but the infield pass means nothing at the moment. Ghost even walks past it, has time to turn around. Sirix angrily gets limb, but it won't mean anything. Ground Zero are going to hold this lead. And they might just hold it till death. I love the idea, though. Day's coming forward, setting himself up. Although he didn't get the pass to where it needed to be because Sirix was so far back. They need to have that brazen attitude we saw last season where they're happy to come forward and not just rely on those counterattacks. Because if Ground Zero isn't going to be these speedy boys that run forward and ball chase, you got no, like, plays in your pocket. At the moment, Legacy trying to find that singular play that makes a difference. Sirix with a shot on net, goes an easy save, just blocks it side on, rolls through, almost an open net. Legacy, a crushing defeat here. But for ground zero, this is when you say, what can this team achieve next year? What can this team achieve going towards the next Rocket League OC Championship in our offseason? I'm curious to see the progression of Lim. Walcott and Ghost to this team that has developed
over out the past couple of weeks with this roster change and looks totally brand new, looks fantastic, and will finish in sixth as this ball hits the ground. Legacy, unfortunately, doomed to be seventh here in the Rocket League OC Championship. Ground Zero, an excellent performance, a 3-0. And if this ball doesn't hit the ground ever, that's fine. I'll continue talking just to get the perfect outro. It eventually will go in. Lim even tries to score it. But Ground Zero, six is their place and a great end to the season. And what a great way for them to go. Between the three of them now, they've only just had 50 games in RLCS qualifiers and league play. So they're such a young team across the entire roster. And as well, Lim broke his record with, uh, he's now hit 50 saves total. <laughs> That's not bad for, yeah, yeah. for a, what, just five weeks of league play? We yeah, he's play. now hit 50, which is really cool. That's not bad. A lot of pressure there for Ground Zero, but at the end of the day, I think they'll be happy with the performance. I hope they stay together as a team. I know, right? Yeah. Because, again, this wasn't ideal for them, right? They were bringing their sub, and you never expect the sub to look so good, but he really has fit in this team amazingly, and... Walcott was really pushing up. They're looking like a really solid team, and I think we can see some serious growth from them. Yep. If that's if that's two weeks of play. Oh yeah, that that as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's two weeks of play, and they already look like a legitimate team. Give them the six months off season, or however long it's going to end up being. Yeah. They're going to be a really strong contender. Yeah, because when when we first saw Walcott, I'll take you back a little bit. When we first saw Walcott in conspiracy. <laughs> Where his tinted glasses go on. Yeah. For the <laughs> we we no we, seeing we red saw flags. him and. We're going, all right, this player has a lot of potential. I think it's been a bit hit and miss since then. Yeah. But in this team, in this roster, the passing's coming online. Yeah. Ground Zero finally are connecting with these shots as well. Yeah, well, the whole first half of the season, they just looked awkward, right, the whole time. Lim was yeah. the only one just like, I don't care, I'm just going to score everything. But yeah. their whole team just seemed awkward. And then even last week, again, Walcott didn't have the most confident performance. This week, he really stepped up and showed that potential that we've known he's had, but it's really just not shown for ages yeah. now. And it's interesting that when you change the style of how the team play, Walcott immediately looks cleaner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you just swap out, like, CJM played very differently to Ghost. We've kind of harped on about it a lot. But as soon as you made that transition, there wasn't, like, an acclimatization time for Walcott. Like, he's immediately better. It's funny, because Ghost was, like, kind of ball chasey. But like, he's also a little bit <laughs> We prefer the today. term greedy. No, no, no. <laughs> Go Confident. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast. <laughs> You expect players like teammates to suffer from that, right? Mm. But Walcott really, really flourished with that kind of teammate. Yeah. Yeah. I think as well for Ghost today, he wasn't quiet, but he was quieter than last week. Yeah. Whereas last oh, week... Well, he la was, last week was exceptional. It, he was it, like... But, but still, it was, that, it was that confident performance. We use the word confident here that <laughs> I think Ground Zero will be happy with. To finish six is not ideal for league play, but it is better than taking that loss against Legacy or, or mm. finishing you know, 7th or 8th, which is really going to be a confidence well, dampener for Legacy. Well, they picked themselves up. That's that's admirable. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's hard. Coming on, like, 0-4, like, mm. they must have felt like, you know, what what do we do? They, they bring in the new sub. They're like, I, I know it's so hard to make top four, but we're going to give it our best. And, and 6 is admirable. They definitely yeah. didn't give up. They had a great performance today. And, I mean, the teams you're beating as well, like, Legacy have been a team that are pretty much in every single league play expected to probably make top four. So yeah. taking them down is always going to feel good at the end of the season. Yeah. And as well, as you said, they had a really tough beginning of the season. They went up against Tainted and Chiefs. They didn't have time to acclimatize. It was yeah. like, you get pummeled at the start, and then you play catch-up all season. Also, to be the harsh person in this, I think Legacy... They shouldn't have to have time to acclimatize. They're no. an experienced roster. Days comes in as the change, and yeah. Legacy just have not looked like the three-man roster with delusion. No, so something will happen in Legacy. They need to really fix their mentality and maybe make some roster changes. They're going to be so unhappy with their performance this season, but they're going to be looking to the future. Yeah, That's I don't cool. think it necessarily is a Days thing. We have talked about Days a lot no, all no, season. <laughs> I think a lot of that <laughs> is the well, fact... Days was a new one, but again, yeah, like Sir Sirix really dropped off. Siki, Siki had a really quiet day today. Yeah, he's it, normally he's one of the down, yeah. he's one yeah. of the top goal scorers mm. for the region. So yeah. it, it's not just days. That whole team was obviously just in disarray, and they, they need to clean something up. We'll, we'll see what happens in the off season for Legacy. Unfortunately, they will finish seventh, which means our next series. Well, it was always going to mean something. <laughs> we are going to finish off with Justice taking on SYF. That is the last qualifying position. The loser of that series, I believe, will finish in fifth. We'll confirm when we come back in five minutes.